Hi, I'm Mackenzie Valdez. So I am the assistant director of Team 4343 Max Tech Robotics. We are a robotics team located at St. Maximilian Colby Catholic High School. So yeah, we're in the same board as you guys. Today I've brought with you today my robot, Max5, my director, yes, he's my boss <laughs> on a normal day, but today he will be driving the robot for me because I can't do that. Where are you? I can't see you. Anthony, come say hi. <laughs> So today I've been come to ask to ask talk to you about what robotics is, as well as to show you what we can do. So he's gonna play around with that while I'm talking. So let's start off easy. What is robotics? Robotics is an after-school program where we build, design, and program robots to complete a specific set of tasks. So each year we're given a different challenge. We have to build a robot for that. This year we built this one. Robotics. Every year, we literally have six weeks to the minute to build this robot. We have a like, time to the minute that we have to put this robot in a bag. The average company knows there's no way they can do that, considering we complete this all after school. <laughs> so we're a very lucky team. We have, as some of you might know, we have the machine shop at our school where we have our CNCs, we have our milt and we have our lace. And then for designing, we have the programs on the computer called, which we use Creo. So I'll explain to you what these are because I know when I first joined the team, I didn't even know what they were. I thought the lathe was just some weird thing that my friend was talking about, but some slang I didn't know. So let's see. There's the CNC mill and there's the manual mill. They both complete the exact same tasks. Each, but they complete them differently. So the CNC mill, that stands for Computer Numerical Control. What we do is we go on the computer, we build a 3D model of what we want to cut, as well, and then we convert that 3D model into a program. From there, we send that program to the computer, and to the computer of the machine, and the machine then completes the task. The manual mill, that completes the exact same thing, except we stand in front of the machine, we move the machine, and we tell the machine what to do step by step. So this is better if we want to build just one specific part rather than a whole slew of parts. Like a lot of our parts, you'll see like this part here, all that was done on the CNC because that's the repetitive task over and over and over again. So the lathe, that's main job is it turns a diameter. So it creates cylindrical objects like shafts and it turns diameter on the machine, on the lathe, as well as we can remove material from the center of the part. The last thing I wanted to explain to you was Creo Elements. This is the design software that we use. It's probably the simplest to explain because it's pretty much, we go on the computer and we draw 3D objects. We can then take those objects, we can 3D print them, we can just render the image so we have something to show to people like you guys, or we can then convert that 3D image into a program that we then send to the CNC machine. But the thing is, robotics is more than just robots. That's something that FIRST is trying to promote a lot, So, and I truly do agree with them. What they do is each team, they have various departments. You can't just have a team that builds a robot. It's not gonna work. So we have public relations and communications departments. So we have departments that specify specifically in outreach. We have Departments that do marketing, departments that do even media. So on a normal event, I sometimes would have two or three media guys that just want to take pictures of everything, and then we put it on our website. There isn't necessarily enough time for me to go through and explain every single thing a department does. The important thing to understand is that departments work hand in hand. So I can't have departments that only do like our design, our manufacturing, our program departments without the other side of things. I can't have that without our fundraising, our public relations, our, 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 our outreach. <laughs> so what else is I'll explain just the business side of things considering I've kind of already explained the manufacturing things and later on if anything, if I have extra time, I can explain those a little bit better. So our public relations and communications departments have two main tasks. What they do is they inform the community, so our sponsors, our donors, our parents, they're very important, they're our biggest fans, what we're doing. So how we do in competition, how we do just regular, they'll tell us, tell you guys, tell our sponsors and us all about us doing this event. And pretty much we just have to tell people what we're doing. That's their only job. 
Our communications department, on the other hand, they tell the entire team what we're doing. So that way you can approach any member of MaxTech Robotics, ask them any question about the team, and they should be able to answer it. That's the job of communications. Fundraising's job is to get money. So we approach potential and returning sponsors and donors and tell them how important robotics is to us, what we get out of this, and why they should give us their money. They don't get anything back. It's not an it's not a investment where they get money back. We just say, hey, we love robotics. Here's what we do. I mean, we're 17 years old. Some of us are even 14 if you're in grade 9. And we build that. <laughs> like, the average person doesn't even know how to run that. I don't know how to do that, and I've been on the team for three years. <laughs> so that's their entire thing. Outreach, on the other hand. We don't do an outreach event to get money. That's nothing. That's a fundraising event. An outreach event, we go out into our community, into other communities like Thornhill. I, we're not from Thornhill, we're from Aurora. We tell them what FIRST is, what robotics is, and we promote STEM. <laughs> okay. <laughs> STEM is science, techno are you going to throw it at me now? Science is science, technology, engineering, and... <laughs> no, I'm not loading it. Yeah. Sci STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. So that's pretty much it. Show, show young kids, because young kids, they, look, they see movie stars, they see like, race, race car drivers, like, I want to be that person. They don't necessarily look at a robotic engineer and be like, hey, I want to build robots when I'm not when I'm an adult. So the whole point of this is like, hey, you're teenagers, we're doing this. Why can't you? That was a very bad shot, Anthony. My feet suck. You gonna load it? That's pretty much what an outreach event does. But yeah, like right now I'm gonna have Anthony, since he seems a little antsy. He's gonna drive around, he's gonna throw the robot at, the ball at me a little bit. And you can see a little bit more about what we do on the team this year. <laughs> Maybe he's going to knock me over. When you're around the robot and you see how it's built, it's not as scary. <laughs> but, like, I know he's not going to hurt me. But, like, I know many people, if I was to ask you guys to come on stage, you'd be a little scared. So today it's just going to be me catching the ball. And maybe you guys will then later on decide to go and Google us. Like, we're just 4343. Just type that into Google, we come up. It's everywhere. You gonna throw it? Hey, I actually caught it. I haven't been able to do that all season. So that's our intake. This year, our challenge was to drive over obstacles. These obstacles were either like a rough terrain or there was just, there was a low bar that we had to drive through. It was like 16 and a half inches off the ground, so we had to drive underneath that. But as well as one of the challenges was to shoot a ball that was like, I think it was roughly like six feet off the ground. I can't remember how high it was. And so we had to shoot that ball into it. So it was kind of difficult, which is why we have this kind of folding design as well as we had to be able to go through things that wouldn't get our traction stuck in it. So it's, a lot of the teams had different designs. So we have our intake, we have our um, shooting mechanism, we have it that it goes under. On our intake, we have these little, little tiny little kicks, as well as these, where we were able to lift a door. So the theme this year was medieval. What we did is, it was, well, we didn't do it, first designed it. Everything was medieval. They even changed the MC's name to the Herald this year. They wanted it to be huge. So we had rough trains, we had portcullises, we had a drawbridge. We just wanted to do as much as we possibly could to see what would happen. The ball is actually called a boulder this year, which is why it's gray. I'm gonna hit myself one day. With this, you gonna turn it around and I'll shoot it? Mm -hmm. Let me actually see if I can catch it.
One more time. So that's pretty much it. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention that kids seem to absolutely adore. We, our main programmer a couple years ago, he loves to play Xbox, so we actually did control our robot with Xbox controllers. We programmed each button to do a different task. Like, I just, kids seem to find that fascinating that they can like, when we'll go, so we'll go to a street, the street sale in Aurora every year, and we'll just be driving down the street and they're like, oh my God, is that an Xbox controller? What are you controlling? We'll like point down the road to our robot. And they're just absolutely fascinated with this like controller. And they're like, so what do I do? I was like, have you ever played this game? I can't remember the game we designed it off of this year. And they're like, yeah, sometimes I have, sometimes I haven't, sometimes they're like this short, <laughs> sometimes they're my age. And depending on who they are, we'll just let them control it. Like, if they're with their parents, often their parents are like, meh, not really, but I think, yeah. Okay, that's all I had for you today, though, so I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll